Welcome to the Bird Brain Podcast, where the goal is to rise above it all, stay elevated, create that infinity, and up your you. Hey, we are talking about trusting your process. Not just trusting the process, but trusting your process. And what that looks like, trusting your process means that you take inventory of the work that you do day in and day out to be the person that you are now. I want to say thank you to my podcast family, um, my friends and family who have been very supporting. One guy in particular I want to shout out. My boy Tom, he said, support the people you know and the people that choose accountability over entertainment. Isaiah Frizzell not only does the Bird Brain podcast, but is a wonderful acting talent. Keep your eyes on him. Check out Nerd on TV podcast, of course. And then my mom followed up with, you have to recognize the work that you do on yourself day in and day out and how you present that to others. It's so necessary to understand your process and the things that you do when no one's watching. Authenticity does not expire. Everything I speak about, I do. <laughs> Everything I create is mine. So I've been in plenty of rooms and I've sat at many of tables where it was more about what you can offer me versus what I can offer you or how are we similar. You know, sometimes we feel that we need to be validated or supported by people who wouldn't think to do the work that we're doing to get to where we are and to be the people that we are. Validate yourself. You know, validate yourself, create a space for yourself where you can present the work that you do without waiting for permission, without waiting for verification, without waiting for validation. Um, when you are willing to build your own table, when you are willing to get, get the work, you know, when you are willing to work in the dark, you will find people along the way who either you guys have a mutual respect for one another, a mutual adoration or appreciation, or you guys will build together. And I think for me, my journey and my process has allowed me to recognize that. And also, the things we see in other people lies dormant in ourselves, good, bad, or indifferent. If you recognize that there's just a charisma or a certain quality a person has, the likelihood is that a part of you registers with that, a part of you aligns with that. Because we're all connected, right? So maybe that's a wake up call for you to start appreciating yourself and recognizing who you are and how you show up and what you actually have to offer. Um, and when those fears and doubts creep in and you feel like you need someone else to, to validate you and validate the work that you do, how about you take a step back and say, hey, this is the work I do consistently. I'm holding myself accountable. That's more than enough. That will always be more than enough because it's seen. And you could be in a crowded room and not say a thing, but you're felt, you know, you're felt. And the quality of who you are as a human is definitely hurt. I wanted to leave you guys with that mindset and mind space because for me, it finally clicked in terms of recognizing the work that I do day in and day out. And not out of obligation to anyone other than myself. If I want to be better, I have to work towards better. Day in and day out. <laughs> because the biggest test is going to be when you don't have people supporting you, when you don't have people clapping for you. Is that work still just as important, if not more important? You know, recognize what's important to you and the why behind you doing things. You are a reflection of the company you keep. So therefore, if you're in company of people where it doesn't feel like you're being kept or you have a seat at their table. That's an indication that that's a poor investment. You know, go back and build your own table. The work that you're doing yourself creates space. The work that you're doing yourself creates opportunity. The work that you do for yourself is validation. First day of March, breathe it in. We keep growing from here. So yeah, trust your process. Don't necessarily trust all the things that are happening outside of you. Trust what's happening within you and trust the work that you're doing on you. Trust the work you do on yourself. Right, bud? I hope you guys have an amazing week. I hope you guys take care of yourselves. Hope you guys take care of each other. Most of all, hope you guys take flight. Say take flight. <laughs> Later.